Hello everybody out there, this is Gary Bledsoe here, how you doing? Um, let me give you a little bit of background. I want to send a quick video out to you um, just to talk to you a little bit about something that I call Stop Playing the Catch-Up Game. Um, and it's really interesting, and the reason why I put this video together is because of some things that's been on my mind about uh, why certain people don't go and push hard for their goals and things like that. In order, and they know they really want to achieve, but somehow they just, that little, something about them is just not creating that uh, oomph, I guess you could say, that motivation for them to go out and achieve their goals. Um, and I call it playing the catch-up game, you know, and when I mean catch-up, I don't mean like catch-up you put on your hamburger, I mean trying to catch up. And let me explain to you, first let me just tell you a little bit about me. I, I'm a network marketer. Um, I'm, I'm in a company now that's been in business for over 126 years. It's one of the largest direct selling companies in the world. Uh, previous to that, I got introduced to network marketing in 1997, in which it totally changed my life. I was working in corporate America as a New York City correction officer, and I realized while I was there that I didn't want to be there for my entire life. I didn't want to retire and have to go and get another job. And what happened was I started opening my eyes. I got introduced to a, uh, an opportunity meeting for a former company and had some great friends there. I'm still friends with them to the day. Uh, they taught me a lot about team building and about working for yourself and signing your own paycheck and things like that and um, why you need to uh, take control of the industry. And what I did was I didn't make a, I made some good money in those companies, but what I did, the most important thing that I did was I learned everything I could from those companies. And I went and got involved in another company that taught me a lot about how to help build a large national team. And what happened was I got involved, um, actually my wife got involved in um, the, the company that we are in right now in 2008. And what she did was she was out there and she just was bringing people on a team and I was still in my other companies and I was bringing like a lot less people and she was bringing twice as many people and I was asking her, why are you, uh, you know, what are you saying to these people? And she just said, I just tell them I'm involved in this company. Do you want to get involved? And being that the company is branded, everyone knows it, she, she, I, start, I started looking at the industry differently and I said the power of branding is also important whenever you pick and choose a company and uh, that you want to get involved in and in order for you to be able to build your own business, create your own fortune and create your own life and design your own life. So I joined my wife in 2011 and um, from that point on, every year we doubled our income to the point where we're you know well over uh, on pace to try to, to make over a six-figure income this year and we've been involved in that business since uh, 2008 as, as I said earlier. Um, so, but one thing I learned in a lot from my, all my previous mentors is you should never play the catch-up game. And let me explain to you what I mean. Um, you know, a year consists of 12 months. And during that time, what happens, a lot of people say, well, you know, next year, I want to make sure I do this. Or this year, I want to make sure when the year is completed that this is what I want to have accomplished. But this is what happens to them. And, and you can tell me if I'm wrong or you can tell me if I'm right. They wait. They procrastinate. And I always say procrastination is nothing but the killer of a dream, killer of a dream with the payment plan. Meaning that you wait around, you procrastinate, you, t you take your time, you say, well, you know what? I still got this much time to be able to do it. And then you try to play catch up. See, one thing I learned is that whenever two teams play a sports, two teams are there to show up and, and play. However, one team is going to want it a little bit more than the other team. And they decided that, no, we're not going to play the catch-up game. We're going to start out early. We're going to get busy and do what we have to do so that way they have to catch up. And always the one that has to play the catch-up game never, ever gets the desired result right away. It takes them a little bit more time. It's a little bit more hard. It's a little bit more difficult for them to get to that point because they play the catch-up game. See, because three things happen in your life. And we're going to work backwards. I'm going to start with what's called results. Right now, this area right here is called the results, and the reason why I'm, I'm working from this way is because this is how you know facing different direction than you. This is how most people read from left to right. So this is the result, and you want a desired result. So when you want a desired result, let's just say hypothetically, it's to lose weight. You want a desired result to lose weight. Then you have to look at the middle feature, which is called called creates or causes to creates or causes to. Then you have to look at the third feature, which is activities. Now, most people start with this part first, and this is what happens. They, st they, they need to start here in the activity portion, but what they do is they focus on the results. They're thinking about, oh, I want to win. Oh, I want to lose weight. Oh, I want this type of business. I want that. So they stay stuck in the results area, and I'm here to tell you to unlearn that. That causes you to play the catch-up game. 
Get out of the results area. Get away from thinking about the results. Stop focusing on results and get your behind over to the activity section. Focus 100% or 150% of your mindset, your duties, your everything in that, that goes on in the activities level. So let me explain to you. Lose weight is the result. Get out of there. I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. Let's forget about that right now. Let's focus on what do you need to do? What activities have to be performed? What habits have to be performed in order for you to get that desired result? You have to learn how to diet. You have to eat the right foods. And guess what that does? It shoots that, that daily routine over to your causes or create section. And guess what happened? Weight loss. Weight loss gets you desired results. But if you stay focused over here, you'll never complete the activities that will cause or creates to, that creates or causes to that the weight loss to get the desired results. So let's go into stop smoking. Stop smoking. Most people say, I want to stop smoking at the end of the year. I want to stop smoking at the end of the year. But they're not realizing you need to not focus on the results area because this is going to cause you to play the catch-up game. Get back over here into the activities level. Activities level. What's that? Stop buying cigarettes. Stop having a desire. Do something other than wanting to get a cigarette. Do something else. Whenever you think you want to stop a cigarette, think of something else. And we know it's pretty hard to stop smoking. Stop it. And then guess what happens? That daily activity shoots over to the creates and the causes to. And guess what it does? The desire to want to smoke becomes a little bit less. And guess what happens? It produces a result in which you stop smoking. But if you're over here... You're going to be keep doing this, keep doing this, keep focusing on this area. You're going to forget about the activities, which are going to create a certain uh, uh, action or a certain uh, thing to happen. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to have to play the catch-up game to go. Because when you finally realize that you need to not be here, you got to go back to the catch-up game and say, okay, i got to try to catch up and hurry and get this. Stop smoking. i got to stop smoking. i got to stop doing it. i got to lose weight. Let's go into team growth, for example. If you're the type of person that you're a network marketer just like I am, and, and you want to have a big team by the end of the year, then you need to not focus on saying, I want a big team. Stop focusing on saying, how can I get people motivated? Stop focusing on saying, how can I get more people to do this and more people to do that? You need to go back and stay, stay right you're behind. And I'm saying that you're behind right here in the activities part and focus on that. Guess what you need to do? Daily prospecting. Daily advertising. They keep focusing on the activity. This is the only thing you can control. The activity which will jump over into the creates area and the causes to area to create new recruits, to create new customers, to create new uh, 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 leaders on your team. And guess what? The desired result will happen. See, I always believe a result will catch up to you, whether it's a good result or a bad result. It will catch up to you depending on the activities that you perform on a daily basis. I want you to understand that, that you don't want to play the catch-up game by always focusing on the results. Focus on the activity and the results will come because the activities you do creates or causes something to happen in which the desired result will happen. So with that being said, I'm going to say this quote to you that I've, I've created from all I've learned all over the years. I took a combination of what some other people said and I put it into sound like something that I would say. Number one, know exactly what you want, exactly what you want, and then take number two, take massive action to obtain exactly what you want. You didn't hear me say Know what you want and focus only on what you want. Know what you want, but take massive action to obtain what you want and believe along the way that you will receive what you want because you took massive active action to obtain what you want. Remember, once again, know what you want, take massive action to obtain what you want, and believe along the way that you will receive what you want because you took massive action. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.